Hello YouTubers, this is Anubifier. Today I have a topic for discussion, and that means that it's super important for you to engage in discussion and get others involved. As a public service announcement, like I've done in the past, I'll probably run some generic b-roll, so this works best if you just pretend it's an audiobook and hear what I have to say. This video is an add-on to the balance video that I published recently. Let's begin. It's no secret that I like the dogfighting aspect of Star Citizen, and I've said in general, that the changes seem fine, at least in the right direction. We need to have a fun flight experience that works well with the holistic idea of our universe. Some of you veterans might remember patches that were jokingly called Missile Commander. These patches in Arena Commander were where firing a missile was a guaranteed hit with no skill. Despite the low frame rates, when 2.0 released, it was clear that the AC balance that we had wouldn't work well for the PU. So in a universe where death has real consequence, where there's griefing, ramming, PvP, piracy, NPC pirates, etc., the idea of a one-shot kill, although fun for one player, is game-breaking for the other as they actually have no opportunity to defend. A game requires some choice or skill that a player can use to counteract a threat. This has to do in general, not only about missiles. We need to be able to combat cold, heat, thirst, and hunger by eating, drinking, wearing the right gear, or making better plans. Real missiles are often a one-shot kill when they connect, but as I said, one-shot kills in a PvP game are only fun for the killer and not necessarily a fun game mechanic. Humans create better machines to kill each other and come up with better SOPs and TTPs or better equipment to counteract the threat. We've escalated like this for our entire history. Real pilots can try to avoid a missile, but they're very small, very quick, and very agile. Missiles track heat, EM, cross-section, and we have flares, jammers, and chaff to deal with the threat. I won't get into that great of detail today, but if you want more detail on that in the future, please comment in the comments with your comments. In Star Citizen, the most basic description is that we have countermeasures to confuse the missiles. Through experience and timing, we should be able to deploy them in conjunction with a quick response, either dropping signature, taking evasive action, both or neither. This video came about through a question from a subscriber. He was in the PU and was repeatedly one-shotted by a pilot in an eclipse. That pilot was in a saber with a very close to meta loadout, he had skill in dogfighting, he was insta-killed with the size 9 torpedo. There should be a corresponding relationship between skillful action and reaction. I try to do something to you, you do something to counter it, especially in a game that plans to have a deeper permadeath mechanic. So I propose to you a general game balance framework that works within the supporting lore, and this is where you come in with your thoughts. I'm going to present four simple scenarios having to do with lock-on time, ship size, weapon speed, weapon damage, and ease of counteracting. The first example is we start with a small ship being targeted by a small missile or torpedo from another small ship. The small missile locks, tracks, and fires easily against the small target. The small missile can be defeated by a skillful pilot deploying countermeasure or some other combination of correct actions. The missile does significant damage if that pilot allows it to hit, but the smaller missile won't one-shot an otherwise operational ship because the shields and hull can absorb it. Obviously, multiple hits or a hit on an already damaged ship will eventually result in a kill. I think most will agree that a small weapon size in general is generally made to engage a smaller ship. The second example is a small missile or torpedo onto a larger ship. The small missile locks tracks and fires easily on this very large target. The small missile could be confused by the large ship's countermeasure, but the target isn't agile, so the missile will probably still hit. The small missile is fast, but compared to the shields of the large ship, it does low damage, and the ship basically shrugs it off. I think most would agree that large ships wouldn't really worry about small missiles. The third example is a large missile or torpedo onto a small ship. This is the Eclipse versus Saber example from earlier and the subscriber's balance concern. I propose that the large torpedo is meant to lock large targets, and I propose that this large payload could be balanced such that it's less effective against small ships to limit that one-shot kill. So my suggestion would be that either it's very hard or takes a very long time to lock up a small ship. This could easily be explained in game lore for balance, perhaps large trackers aren't optimized for small ships, and it should also be fairly easy to break the lock with countermeasures or evasive action. Before you start typing, I have example 4. Example 4 is large missiles on large ships. Like the small on small example, I believe that the weapon is being used against its intended target and should lock and fly as expected. Large weapon does good damage against large ship, requiring multiple hits to wear down the protection. Lock on time is normal, countermeasures have an effect, but because of the larger ships, evasive maneuvers may not always work. For those of you who have seen the movie Greyhound recently, I would expect the final timing and flow of the capital ship combat 
to be similar to the combat portrayed in that movie. There are other factors as part of balance including the cost of the weapon, their availability within the universe, etc. But for today, I would love your opinion on the four examples, specifically the third one. Do you believe that large weapons should be able to lock and track small craft? Do you believe that there needs to be a general change on how they work, ensuring that a player could defense against that attack? Thank you very much for spending your time with me. I love making these sorts of videos, and for them to get the desired effect, we need conversation and discussion. Please share with your friends. I appreciate your feedback and gain better perspective from it. Fly safe, and I'll see you in the verse.